I am welcome back. Here we are with Passion for FM's fantastic database. So please do smash those thumbs. Don't forget, hit that notification bell and comments down below, please, as well. And let's go and have a look at another fantastic kid, Harry Huell. Now, this lad from Brighton this time. He's only 14, so you might not even see him in FM24. <sighs> Yes, this lad might actually be FM25, obviously the new incarnation, we cannot wait to see it, it's going to be fantastic from what we've been led to believe, and maybe this boy will be making his debut in it. Harry Huell, this boy, is a promising striker, 14 years old, 3.5 to 10.5 million pounds, 5 foot 10, wow, looking at him through the physicals, he's, I think this boy's going to be an absolute beast. If he is coached right, if you get the full version of him, that might be something that doesn't happen on this version, but we will wait and see. Acceleration and pace of 10. Agility and balance of 9s there, look. Jumping reach and natural fitness of 11s. Stamina of 10, strength of 9. I think this boy's going to be a big one. Coming through the mentals. Aggression, anticipation of 10s there, look at this. 9s. Eights coming down through for bravery, composure and concentration. Seven for decision. Determination of 14. Flair of nine. Leadership of 12 at the age of 14 years old. Future captain maybe. Off the ball of eight. Work rate of eight. Position of six there as well. Vision of seven and work rate of eight. So I think he could grow quite nicely in his mentals. The technicals. Corners of six. Yeah, not. He's not going to be taking corners. Don't worry about that. Crossing and dribbling, nines, finishing, first touch, free kick taking, all eights there. Heading of nine, I'm sure that's going to fly up. Long shots of ten, passing a ten, penalty taking of eight. Mm, interesting. Technique of nine. Now this boy, he really is going to be somebody special, I think. He can play AMC there as well, but I think that he will be a striker. I don't think he will be trained up in that role but you never know he is predominantly right footed he can use his left as well reasonably it's a promising striker balance mentality i'm just interested to see five years time let's go and have a look i think this boy's going to be fantastic well harry he's still at brighton he's 18 years old he's currently injured with a hernia that's not good he's got another three to four weeks going there I'm intrigued to see what his injuries. Has he had a few injuries? My word. Now this boy, I think he might have a bit of injury proneness. There seems to be a lot of stuff going on. There are no reoccurring injuries, but he is very highly susceptible to injuries. Uh, yeah, I think this lad, as it stands, might have had his growth stunted a bit. He's six foot tall, but I think his development has been stunted. Now, physicals. He is very physical. He's probably spent a lot of time in the gym while he's been out injured. Acceleration, 13. Look at these, 13s everywhere virtually. 14 for agility. 13s again through there. Pace of 12. Strength of 13 as well. Stamina, 14. That's great stuff. Through the mentals. Yeah, the, things have gone up a bit. They haven't grown massively. But there's, there's a few there that have come through nicely. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's not quite kicked on as much as I was hoping. <laughs> let's, say that. let's say that. Through the technicals. Oh my goodness me. Dribbling of 12. Finishing of 6. Heading of 11. Yes. He is a big lad. 6 foot tall. Passing of 11 as well. Technique of 10. I think the injuries have probably stunted his development. He's not got any player traits. He has been trained to play on the right hand side of midfield. But has he played any games? No. I think the injuries have cost this boy big style. Brighton were in the Premier League. They've gone down to the Championship and they have stayed in the Championship. He has had a couple of cup games in and out, but nothing really to write home about. He's been playing for the reserves. Banging the goals in, to be fair. He's been scoring a few goals for the reserves, but uh, unfortunately, other than that, our Harry hasn't really done a great deal. He's got a nice bit of value to him. So it'll be interesting to see what he looks like in a further seven years. But he is now only a young striker. There's no longer that promising striker tag. 
Well, Harry, he's now up in Scotland playing with Celtic. So that's quite a turn for the books. 25 years old now. He hasn't grown anymore, but he is valued at 4.8 to 14.5 million pounds. He is a physical beast. There's no such no other way around it. He is physically great. Acceleration of 15, pace of 15, strength of 15, stamina of 16, look, agility of 16, jump and reach of 14 with the natural fitness of 14. He is wanted by a whole host of clubs, including Southampton, for transfer. Feyenoord included in there. His mentals have come through fantastically. Anticipation of 15, composure of 13, concentration 13, decision 13, concentration of 12, decisions of 13, determination 14, flair 14, leadership 14. So he he has developed into a, a fairly, I would say, sort of, Middle of the road, sort of Premier League striker, maybe, but that finishing of eight, yeah. So he's he's going to be more of a uh, he's a he's a tricky one, really. In the dribbling of fourteen, heading of thirteen, long shots of fourteen, passing of twelve, technique of twelve. He's probably one of those strikers that would be like a deep line playmaker, but the passing and vision isn't that great either. So it's not to do that role ideally. But how has he done? That's the thing. He runs with the ball down the right-hand side, so he has been playing a lot down the right. Awkward as a right midfielder, so he's been training there as well. Likes to beat the offside trap. Well, with those 15 acceleration and pace, playing up in Scotland, no disrespect, but it is a bit lower standard than the Premier League or the Championship, to be fair. As we can see, there's a few Scottish clubs here. So how has he done for the rest of his career? Let's have a look, shall we? So he actually did play a game off the bench in the league in the championship, then had another season, and then went out on loan to Union out in Belgium, where he didn't play a game. I'm guessing injuries have come to fruition again. They aren't actually showing me the injury history here now, but I'm guessing injuries have probably cost him quite a bit through his career. So Union came back a couple of games again off the bench with Brighton in the championship, Went out on loan to League 2 with Newport. 17 games, 6 goals, 2 player of the matches, 2 assists as well. Not too bad. Then went to Celtic for £160,000. Not a bad move. Went to Kilmarnock on loan. 31 games, 18 goals in the league. 20 goals overall in the season. Came back to Celtic, 5 games off the bench, 1 goal. Then went out to Aberdeen on loan. Again, this time in the Premiership. Up in Scotland, 14 games, 3 goals in total. Not too bad. Come back to Celtic, 1 game. Then went out to Hibernian. Again, Scottish Premiership, 27 games, 15 goals. Banging the goals in again, 16 overall. He's then come back to Scotland, back where we are with the current season. So he's had a lot of loans. He's not developed fully. Like I say, with these players, I have seen a far, far better version of Harry, but it's given him that game time and missing the injuries, not having the injuries. And I tell you what, the amount of players through history who don't make it because of injuries, guarantee there's going to be quite a few on this database who unfortunately won't. Well, boys and girls, don't want to leave on a sour note because... Harry, he's looking quite good, to be honest. He's he's a physical beast, and he can score goals in Scotland. There we go, boys and girls. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do like, subscribe, and get notified. And thank you very much again to Passion for FM and FM Veteran bringing this database. It's fantastic stuff. And we'll see you next time out with another Wonder Kid. Hopefully, a world beater. See you soon. Goodbye.